Welcome to The Real Truth. Today, we're diving into the world of taxes, but bear with me because today we're talking about the top five most tax countries in the world. And before you grab your pitchforks and torches, it's worth noting that these high tax nations also happen to be some of the happiest and most prosperous on earth. Let's get started. First up, we've got Sweden, a country seemingly built on IKEA furniture, ABBA, and a deep-seated love for paying taxes. Now, before you say, hold on, I thought Vikings were all about pillaging and plundering, not paying taxes, you're not wrong. But somewhere along the way, Sweden decided to embrace a different kind of pillaging, the kind where the government gently relieves you of a significant portion of your income in exchange for, well, a lot. We're talking universal healthcare, free education, and a social safety net so strong it could catch a falling moose. And sure, you might pay a bit more kroner up front, but you're also protected from the financial apocalypse of, say, a surprise medical bill or your house spontaneously combusting. Plus, you get to brag to your American friends about your free healthcare while casually sipping lingonberry juice. Next, we hop on over to Denmark, a country so consistently ranked as one of the happiest in the world that you have to wonder if they're spiking the fricadella with euphoria. Now, correlation doesn't equal causation, but it's hard to ignore the fact that Denmark also has some of the highest taxes in the world. But here's the thing, the Danes seem to be totally okay with it. Why? Because they get a lot in return. It's like living in a real-life Lego utopia where everything is awesome and the only downside is occasionally stepping on a stray Lego brick in the middle of the night. Chapter 3. Finland, where education is free and so are the babies, sort of. Our next stop takes us to Finland, the land of a thousand lakes, saunas and apparently really high taxes. But before you start picturing Finns huddled around a campfire lamenting their lost wages, let's look at the bright side. Finland, like its Scandinavian brethren, has fully embraced the concept of social investment. That means they pump a hefty chunk of their tax revenue into things like education and healthcare. Plus, they give new parents a baby box filled with essential goodies, which is either incredibly adorable or slightly dystopian, depending on your perspective. Chapter 4, France. Baguettes, beret and beaucoup de taxes. Bonjour and welcome to France, a country known for its romantic ambiance, exquisite cuisine and a certain je ne sais quoi when it comes to, you guessed it, taxes. But unlike their Gallic ancestors, who might have revolted over a slightly stale baguette. Modern-day French citizens seem to have reached a sort of tax truce with their government. Sure, they might grumble about it over their morning espresso, but they also reap the benefits of a robust social safety net, excellent public services, and of course, those iconic high-speed trains. Chapter 5. Belgium, waffles, chocolate and surprisingly high taxes. And finally, we arrive in Belgium, a country that's basically a delicious love child of France and its northern neighbours. Known for its waffles, chocolate and an almost comical number of different beers, Belgium also boasts a tax system that's, well, pretty darn high. But before you start drowning your sorrows in a Belgian double, Let's remember that those taxes fund a whole smorgasbord of social programs, including universal healthcare, education, and a generous unemployment scheme. Outro so. Are high taxes worth it? Thanks for watching. We've journeyed through the world of the top five most taxed countries, and I think it's safe to say that while no one enjoys forking over their hard-earned cash to the taxman, these countries demonstrate that high taxes, when invested wisely, can lead to a pretty sweet deal for their citizens. From free healthcare and education to robust social safety nets and top-notch public services, it seems like these high-tax nations have cracked the code to creating societies that prioritize the well-being of their people. Of course, it's not always sunshine and roses and there are always debates about the best way to balance taxation with economic growth and individual freedom. But hey, at least in these countries, you can enjoy a sense of security and shared prosperity while indulging in some pretty fantastic food and culture. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more content like this.